What would you do if you were told you may never walk again? How would your life change? Would that moment in time define you? Would you allow your aspirations to be bound by the limitations of your body? As a teenager, I was involved in a devastating motorcycle accident. The accident rendered me paralyzed and doctors informed my parents that I may never walk again. Medical experts assured my parents that while they would never have a son like the one they knew prior to the accident, they still had a son. Seemingly, they were suggesting that their only comfort was that I was alive. The next few months of my life were instrumental in forming my character. I was a young adult facing some dire choices. If I accepted my presumed fate, I could grow apathetic. If I challenged it, I could strive for greatness despite my limitations. Not knowing the capacity to which I could succeed, I began rehabilitation. I learned to walk again. I learned to push myself beyond the limitations imposed by others, and more importantly, beyond those that were self-imposed. I leaned upon the strength of my family and my faith. I tested the limits of my character and endured. I chose to become a person not just content to be alive, but one who sees his life. In those early years, my broken body became a vessel for my success, and I began to train for triathlons. In 1992, I successfully competed in the Hawaii Ironman competition, proving to myself that my body was as able-bodied as any other. I ran a 26.2 mile marathon, completed a 112 mile bike ride, and swam two and a half miles in the Pacific Ocean in 11 hours and 14 minutes. In 1993, I was asked to join the United States Olympic cycling team to compete in the subsequent 1996 Paralympic Games in Atlanta. I considered it an honor and a privilege to represent my country. My career in law is defined by the same drive and determination that punctuated my athletic achievements. Nineteen years ago, my desire to seek justice and enhance the public good led me to a career in law. During these nineteen years, my experience has been expansive and diverse, covering all aspects of law from personal injury and contracts to probate and family law matters to homicide. It was a great privilege to provide advocacy for disabled, elderly, and minor populations within my capacity as a private attorney. Also within this role, and because of my experience, I was called upon to draft legislation and lecture throughout the state. As the lead prosecutor for the Amador County District Attorney's Office, I am honored to represent the people of the state of California in the pursuit of justice through the prosecution of crimes and thereby helping to ensure public safety. My understanding of the law is comprehensive and capacious. My promise is to serve the public with a diligent commitment to public safety, a steadfast responsibility to court efficiency, and a sincere pledge to impartiality. In our current economic times, we are all feeling the demands to save money and cut expenses. The Amador Superior Court System is not immune from this necessity. Amador County has been assessed to require three judicial officers to handle the current workload. However, Amador County's budget allocates funding to employ only two judges. Due to this fact, it is absolutely imperative that your next Superior Court judge be willing to work diligently to keep the system functioning efficiently. A strong work ethic, physical stamina, and a desire to dedicate long hours will be required to keep the system moving fluidly and give judicial matters a forum in which to be heard in a timely manner. Furthermore, Amador County must consider prudently the fact that a judge who can serve more than one term for Amador is beneficial in offering both continuity and expertise to the local judicial branch. I do not seek this position to have the distinct honor of ending my career as a judge. Instead, I seek this position to forge new and innovative ways to bring court efficiency in these times of tough economic challenges. I intend to bring continuity, experience, and longevity to this office for, for perhaps consecutive terms. I intend to bring strong moral principles, complete impartiality, and a goal of public safety to this community. I respectfully ask for your vote in the June 2012 election for Amador County Superior Court Judge. Thank you all for attending.